。好的，利用闲暇时间背一背。Lesson one: A private conversation. Last week I went to the theater. I had very good seat. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I could not. I got very angry. I could not hear the actors. I turned around. I looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear it. I turned around again. Turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily, "It's none of your business." The young man said rudely, "This is private conversation." Lesson two: Breakfast or lunch? Breakfast or lunch? What? What? Why were the writers and the surprise? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. I sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. That's a Sunday. I got up very late. I looked out of the window. It was dark outside. What a day! I thought it's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I've just arrived by train. She said, "I'm coming to see you, but I'm still having breakfast." I said, "What are you doing?" She asked. "I'm having breakfast." I repeated. "Dear me," she said, "you always got to get up so late." It's one o'clock. Lesson three. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always spoil my holidays. Last summer, I went to Italy. I visited museums and sat in public gardens. A friend in the winter taught me a few words of Italian. Then he lent me a book. I read a few lines, but I did not read a, understand a word. But I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. My holidays passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day, I made big decision. I got up early and bought thirty-seven cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did, did not write a single card. Lesson four: An exciting trip. Wise team fighting this trip. Exciting. I have just received a letter from my brother Tim. He's in Australia. Has been there for six months. Tim is an engineer. He's working for a big firm, and he has already visited a great number of different places in Australia. Has just bought an Australian, an Australian car and has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon fly a visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been abroad before, so he's finding this trip very exciting. Lesson five: No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Card has crashed in Sydney and now has just bought another crash in Penhurst. Penhurst is only five miles from Sydney, but Miss Mrs. Card cannot get a telephone for his new crash. So he's just has just bought twelve pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried the first message messages from Penhurst to Sydney. The bird covered the, the distance in three minutes. Up to now, Mr. Card. Has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, he has begun his own private telephone service. Lesson six: Percy Buttons. Who is Percy Buttons? I've just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a banker knocked at my door. He asked me for a meal and a glass of beer. In return for this, the banker stole his hand and sang songs. I gave him a meal. He ate food and drank beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, a neighbor told me about him. His name is Percy Button. Everybody knows him. His name is Percy Button. He calls at every house in the street once a month and always asks for a meal and a glass of beer. Lesson seven: Too late. Did the detective did save diamonds? The play was late, and the detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were expecting a valuable box of diamonds from South Africa. A few hours earlier, someone told the police that thieves would try to steal the diamonds. When the play arrived, some of the detectives were waiting inside the main building, while others were waiting on the airfield. Two men took the box off the plane and carried carried it into the customer's house, while two detectives were keeping guard at the door. Two others opened the box. To their surprise, the precious box was full of stones and sand. Lesson eight: the best and the worst. Why is Joan Garden the most beautiful one in the town? Joan Sanders had the most beautiful garden in our town. Nearly everybody enters for the nicest garden competition each year, but Joan wins every time. Joan wins every time. 
Bill Fred's garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder than Joe and grows more flowers and vegetables. But Joe's garden is more interesting. He has made knee pad and has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year, I entered for the garden competition too, and I always win a little prize for the for the little prize for the worst garden in the town. Nice and my cold work on. What was the cold work on? What was cold? What does cold work on refer to? On Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It was the last day of the year, and a large crowd of people had gathered in under the town hall clock. It was struck 12 in 20 minutes' time. 15 minutes passed, and then the clock stopped. The big minute's hand did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Someone, someday someone shouted. It's two minutes past 12. The clock has stopped. I looked at my watch. It was true. It was true. The big clock refused to work on the new year. At that moment, everybody began to laugh and sing. Lesson 10. Not for jazz. What happened to the clap chord? We have no musical in instrument. It's called clap chord. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clap chord is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by a visitor. She tried to play jazz on it. She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the keys too hard and two of the strings were broken. My father was shocked. My father was shocked. Now we're not allowed to touch it. It's being repaired by a friend of my father's. On lesson 11, one good turn deserves another. Who paid for Tony's dinner? I was having dinner when Tony still came in. Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but uh, he is now working at a bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came and sat at the same table. He has never borrowed money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me 20 pounds. To my surprise, he gave me money immediately. I have never borrowed any money from you, Tony said, so now you can pay for my dinner. Lesson 12. Goodbye and good luck. Where is Captain Allison going and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Allison, will sail, sailed, will sail from Portsmouth tomorrow. We will meet him at the harbor early in the morning. He will be in his small boat, Topsail. Topsail is a famous little boat. They have sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain, for, Captain Allison was set off with, uh, uh, at 8 o'clock, so we will have plenty of time. We will see his boat and then we will say goodbye to him. He will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. He will take part in important race across the Atlantic. Lesson 13. The Greenwood Boys Why will the police have a difficult time? The Greenwood Boys a group of pop singers. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. They will be arriving here tomorrow. They will be coming by tree, and most of the young people in the town will be meeting them at the station. They will give tomorrow evening. They will give. They will be seen at the workers' club. The Greenwood boys will be. The Greenwood boys will be staying for five days. During this time, they will give five performances. As usual, the police will have a difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is always the same on these occasions. Lesson 14. Do you speak English? Do the young men speak English? I had an amusing experience last year. After I had left a small village in the south of France, I drove up to the next town. On the way, on the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped and he asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got into the car, I said good morning to him and he replied in the same language. Apart from a few words, I don't know any French at all. Neither of us spoke during the journey. I had nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly said very slowly, Do you speak English? As I soon learned, he was English himself. Lesson 15. Good news. What was the good news? What was the good news? The secretary told me that Mr. Harmsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went to his office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. After I had sat down, 
He said that business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not to afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Hemsworth, I said in a weak voice. Don't interrupt, he said. Then he smiled and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Lesson 16. A polite request. What was a polite request? If you park your car in the wrong place, a, tra a traffic policeman will soon find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without a ticket. However, this does not always happen. Traffic police are sometimes very polite. During a hard day in Sweden, I found this note on my car. <coughs> Sir, we welcome into our city. This is no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay attention to our street size. This note is only a reminder. If you receive a request like this, you cannot fail to obey it. Lesson 17. Always young. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old she is? My Aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least 35 years old. In spite of this, she often appears on the stage as a young girl. Jennifer will have to take part in a new play soon. This time, she will be a girl of 17. In the play, she must appear in a bright red dress and a long black stack stockings. Last year, in another play, she had to wear short socks and a bright orange, orange dress. Mm. I trust. If any, if anyone asks asks her how old she is, she always answers, "Darling, it must be terrible to be grown up." Lesson eighteen. He often does this. What had happened to the writer's bag? After I had after I had had lunch in, at a village pub, I looked I looked for my bag. I had left it on the chair beside the door, and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. Did you have the meal? He asked. He asked. Yes, thank you, I answered, but I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my bag. The landlord smelled and immediately went out. In a few minutes, he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this. Lesson 19 sold out. When will the police, when will the writer see the play? The play may begin at any moment, I said. It may have begun already, Susan answered. I hurried to the ticket's office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry, we've sold out, the girl said. What a pity, Susan exclaimed. Just then, Neil hurried to the ticket's office. Can I return these two tickets? He asked. Certainly, the girl said. I went back to the ticket office at once. Could I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But they are for next Wednesday's performance. Do you see why that? I might as well have that, I said, sadly. Lesson 20. One man in the boat. Why is fishing the writer's favorite sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. But this does not worry me. Some are fishermen are unlucky. Instead of fish catching fish, instead of catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I am even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After having spent whole mornings on the river, I all I always go home with a napkin back. You must give up, give up fishing. My friends say it's a waste of time, but they don't realize one important thing. I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm really interested in sitting in the boat and doing nothing at all. Lesson 21. Mad or not? Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is bad and is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. I live near an airport and passing plane can be heard, heard at night and day. The airport was built years ago, but for some reason it could not be used then. Last year, however, it came into use. It came into use. M over a hundred people must have been driving away from their home by the noise. I'm one of the few people left. 
Sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by a passing play. I have been offered a large sum of money to go with, but I'm determined to stay here. Everybody says I must be mad, and they're probably right. Lesson 22. A glance, a glance envelope. A glance envelope. How did Jean receive a letter from a stranger? My daughter Jean never dreamed of receiving a letter of her own age in Holland. Last year, we were traveling across the channel, and Jean put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have they have decided they have decided to use the post office. Letters will will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Uh, lesson twenty three: New house. What was the, what what was the new house special? What does the new house special? I had my sister. I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She lives in Nigeria. In her letter, she said that she would come to come to England next year. If she comes, she will get a surprise. We're now living a new, an, a beautiful new, a beautiful new house in the country. Work on it had begun before my sister left. The house will, the house. When the house was completed five months ago, in my letter I told her that she could stay with us. The house has many large rooms and there is a lovely garden. It is a lar it is a very modern house, so it looks strange to some people. It must be the only modern house in the district. Lesson twenty four. It could be worse. What had happened? A hand. The writer's money then stolen. I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I had just lost 50 pounds, and I felt very upset. I left the money in my room, I said, but, but it's not there now. The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. He could do nothing. Everyone's losing money these days, he said. He, started, he began to complain about this wicked world, but but was interrupted by a knock at the door. A girl came in. He put an envelope on his, on his desk. It contained 50 pounds. I found this outside this gentleman's room, she said. Well, I said to the manager, there is still some honesty in this world. Lesson 25. Do they speak English? Why does the writer not understand the word? I arrived in England at last. The railway station was big, black, and dark. I did not know the way to my hotel, so I asked a porter. I not only spoke English very clearly, very carefully, but very clearly as well. The porter, however, could not understand me. Could not understand me. I repeated my question several times at last. He understood. He answered me, but he spoke neither slowly nor clearly. I am a foreigner, I said. Then he spoke slowly, but I could not understand it. My teacher never spoke English like that. The porter and I looked at each other and smiled. Then he said something, and I understood it. You will soon learn English, he said. I wonder, in England, each person speaks a different language. The English understand each other, but I don't understand that. Do they speak English? Oh, this this article's question is: Do the English speak English? Lesson, <clears throat> lesson twenty six, the best art critics. Who is the student best, best critic? I'm an art student and I paint a lot of pictures. Many people pretend that they understand modern art. They always tell you what a picture is about. Of course, many pictures are not about anything. They are just pretty patterns. We like them in the same way that we like pretty curtain material. I think. That young children often appreciate appreciate modern pictures better than anyone else. They notice more. My sister is only seven, but but she always tells me whether my pictures are good or not. 
He came into my room yesterday. What are you doing? She asked. She asked. I'm hanging this picture on the wall. I, s I answered. It's a new one. Do you like it? She looked at it critically for a moment. It's all right, she said. But isn't it upside down? I looked at it again. She was right. It was. Lesson, lesson 27. A white night. What happened to the boys in the night? Late in the afternoon, the boys pulled up their tent in the middle of the field. As soon as this was done, they were cooked meal op over an open fire. They were all hungry, and the food smelled good. After a wonderful meal, they told story and sang songs by the campfire. But sometime later, it, it began to rain. The boys felt tired, so they put out the fire and trapped into their tent. Their sleeping bags were warm and comfortable, so they all slept soundly. In the mid of night, two boys woke up and began shouting. The tent was full of water. They, they were all, they all leapt out of their sleeping bags and hurried outside. It was raining heavily, and they found a stream had formed in the field. The stream wound its way across the field, and then, and then, and then flown, and then flown right under their tent. Our lesson twenty-eight: No parking. What is Jasper White's problem? Jasper White is one of the those real people who believes in ancient myth. He has just bought a new house in the city. But ever since he came in, he has had troubles with cars and their owners. When he returns home at night, he always finds that someone has parked a car outside his gate. Jasper has put no parking signs outside his gate, but these have not these have not had any effect. Now he put no clay stone hand over the, over the gate. It is one of the no clay gate. Oh, it is one of the oblaced faces I have ever seen. I asked him what it was, and he told me it was Medusa, the Gorgon. Jasper hopes that she will turn cards and their owners to stone, but none of them has been turned to stone yet. Oh, lesson. Lesson 29 Taxi Does Captain Forsyth think any trip is too dangerous? Captain For Captain Ben Forsyth has bought non euro taxi and has begun a new service. The taxi is a small swing airplane called a Peter's Porter. This wonderful play can carry seven passengers. The most surprising, surprising thing about it However, is that it can land anywhere, on snow, water, or even on a plowed field. Captain Forsyth's first passenger was a doctor, who flown from Birmingham to a lowland village in the Welsh mountains. Since then, Captain Forsyth has sailed, has flown passengers to many unusual places. Once, he landed he land on the floor of Locks Flats, and on another occasion, he led in a deserted, a deserted car park. Captain Forces has just re refused a strange request from a businessman. The man wanted to fly to Rackall, a lonely island in the Atlantic Ocean. But Captain, Captain Forces did not take him because the trip was very, was too dangerous. On lesson 30, 30. Lesson 30, football or polo. What had happened? What happened to the man in the boat? The wheel. The wheel is a small river that cuts across the park near my home. I like sitting by the wheel on fine afternoons. It was warm last Sunday, so I went and sat on the river bank as usual. Some uh, some children were playing games on the river uh, on the bank and. There were some 
people rowing on the river. Suddenly, one of the children kicked the ball very hard at it towards the wind towards a passing boat. Some people on the bank called out to the man in the boat, but he did not understand. Uh, but he could not hear them. But he did not hear them. The ball struck him so hard that he nearly fell into the water. I turned to look at the children, but there weren't any inside. They had all run away. The man left when he realized what had happened. He called on to the children and threw the ball back to the bank. Lesson 31 Success Story What was Frank's first job? Yesterday afternoon, Frank Hawkins was telling me about his experiences as a young man. Before he retired, Frank was the head of a very large com business company. But as a boy, he used to work in a small shop. It was his job to repair bicycles, and at that time, he used to work 14 hours a day. He saved money four years, and in 1958, he bought a small workshop of his own. In his 20s, Frank used to make spare parts for airplanes, and at that, no, at that time, he had two helpers. In a few years, he in a few years, the small workshop had become a large factory which employed 728 people. Frank smiled when he remembered his hard early years and the long road to success. He was still smiling when the door opened and his wife came in. She wanted him to repair their grandson's bicycle. Lesson 32 Shopping made easy. Who was the thief? People are not so honest and they once were. The temptation to steal is, key, is greater than ever before, especially in large shops. In large shops. A detective recently watched a well-dressed woman who always, he always, he always, always went to a large shop on Monday mornings. One Monday. One Monday. There were some, there were fewer people in the shop than Europe. When the woman came in, she, the woman, so it was easier for the detective watcher to watch her. The woman first bought a few small articles. After a little time, she chose one of the most expensive dresses and had it to a assistant an assistant who wrapped it up for her as quickly as possible. Then the woman simply took the puzzle and walked, and walked out of the shop without paying. When she was arrested, the detective found out that the shop assistant was her daughter. Was her daughter. The girl gave her mother a free dress once a week. Lesson 33 Out of the darkness why was the girl in hospital? Nearly a week passed before the girl was able to explain what had happened to her. One afternoon, she, she set out from the coast in a small boat and was caught in a storm. Towards evening, the boat struck a rock and the girl jumped into the water, uh, jumped into the sea. Then she swam to the shore. After spending the whole night in the water, during that time, she covered a distance of eight miles. Early next morning, she saw a light ahead. She knew she was near the shore because the light was high up on the cliffs. On arriving at the shore, the girl struggled up, struck up the cliff towards the light she had seen. That was all she remembered. When she woke up, when the girl woke up a day later, when she woke up a day later, she found herself in hospital. Lesson 34. Lesson 34. Quick work. How many times? How many times had the place had the place taken to find his passport? Then 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 Dan Robinson. 
Dan Robinson has been worried all week. Last Tuesday, he received a letter from the local police. In the letter, she was called. He was called to call at the station. Dan was wondered why he was wanted by the police, but he came to the station. He went to the station yesterday, and now he is not worried anymore. And the station, he was told by a smiling people, a smiling policeman. Then his bicycle had been found five days ago. The police, the police told him. The bicycle was picked up in a small village 400 miles away. It is being it is being sent to his home by train. Dan was most surprised when he heard the news. He was amused too. He never expected the bicycle to be found because he never expected the bicycle to be found. It was stolen 20 years ago when Dan was a boy of 15. Hmm. Lesson 35 Stop Thief How did Roy stop the thieves? Ron Chondon used to drive a taxi a short time a short a short while ago. However, he became a bus driver and he has never has not regretted it. He's finding his new work far more exciting. When he was driving along Catford Street yet recently, he saw two thieves ru rush out of a shop and run towards a waiting car. One of them was carrying a bag full of money. Then uh, Roy acted quickly and drove drove bus straight and the thieves. The thieves. The one with the money got got such a fright that she that he dropped bag. And the thieves were trying to get away in their car. Roy drove his bus into the back of it. Well the better well the better car was moving away. Roy stopped his bus and telephoned the place. The thief's car was badly damaged and easy to recognize. Shortly afterwards, the police stopped the car and both men both men were arrested. Lesson 36. Lesson 36. 三十六课. Across the channel. What is Debbie going to try to do? Debbie Hart is going to swing across the English Channel tomorrow. She she is going to set out from the French coast at 5 o'clock in the morning. Debbie is only 11 years old and she hopes to set up a new world record. She is a strong swimmer and many people feel that she is sure to succeed. Debbie's father will set out in a small boat. Uh, Debbie's father will set out with her in a small boat. Mr. Hart has, has three his daughter four years tomorrow. He will be watching he will be watching her anxiously as she swims the long distance to England. Debbie intends to take short rests every two hours. She will have she will have something to eat and something to drink, but she will not eat any solid food. Most of Debbie's school friends will be waiting for her on English coast. Among them will be Debbie, Debbie's mother, who swam the channel herself when she was a girl. Uh, lesson 37, 32. The Olympic Games. The Olympic Games. When was the last time this country hosted the Olympic Games? The Olympic Games will be held in our country in four years' time. As, as a great many people will be visiting the country, the government the government will be build build new hotels, a maze stadium, and a Olympic standard swimming pool. They will also be build new roads and a special railway line. The game the games will be held just outside the capital, and the whole area will be called Olympic City. Workers will be complete completed will have completed. 
the new roads by the end of this year. By the end of next year, they will have finished work on the stadium. The fantastic modern buildings have been designed by Kurt Gunner. Everybody will be watching anxiously as the new buildings go up. We are all very sad and are looking forward to uh, looking forward to the Olympic Games because they have never been held before in this country. Lesson 38, Sanchi Parker. Everything except the weather. Why Harrison? Why did Harrison sell his house so quickly? My old friend Harrison had lived in the Mediterranean for many years before he returned to England. He had often dreamed of retiring in England, and he had he had he had hopes to uh, he had planned to settle down in the country. He had no sooner returned than he bought a house and went to live there almost immediately. He um, immediately he started to complain about the weather. For even though it was still in summer, still in summer, it was still in it was still summer. It rained continually and it often it was often bitterly cold. After so many years of sunshine, Harrison got a shock. Harrison got a shock. Harrison got a shock. In the end, he had hardly had time to settle down when he sold when he sold his house and went away and left the country. The dream he had had for so many years ended there. Harrison had th thought of everything except the weather. Lesson 39 Am I alright? Why Mr. Gilbert telephoned Dr. Middleton? While John Gilbert was in hospital, he asked his doctor to tell him whether his operation had been successful and the doctor refused to do so. The following day, the patient asked for a bedside telephone. When he was alone, he telephoned the hotel exchange and asked for Dr. Middleton. When the doctor answered the phone, Mr. Gilbert said he was inquiring about a certain patient, uh, Mr. John Gilbert. He asked if Mr. Gilbert's operation had been successful and the doctor told him that it had been. He then uh, asked when Mr. Gilbert would be allowed to go home and the doctor told him that he would have to stay in hospital for another two weeks. Another two weeks. Mm. Another two weeks. Then the doctor asked Asked the corner if he was a relative of the patient. No, the patient answered, I am Mr. John Gilbert. How lesson 30, lesson 40. It's such a good food and talk. Does Mrs. Ramble a good companion at dinner? Last week at the dinner party, the hostess asked me to say nice to Mrs. Ramble. Mrs. Ramble was a large, unsmiling lady in tight black dress. She did not even look up when I took my seat beside her. Her eyes were fixed on her plate and in a, in a short time she was busy eating. I tried to make conversation. A new play is coming to the globe soon. Will, I said, will you be seeing it? No, she answered. Will you be, staying, will you be spending your holidays abroad this year? I asked. No, she answered. Will you be staying in England? I asked. No, she answered. In this fire, I asked her whether she was enjoying her dinner. Young man, she answered. If you eat more and talk less, we would both enjoy our dinner. Lesson four, lesson forty-one. Lesson forty-one. Lesson forty-one. Forty-one. 
Do you call them the head? What kind of shopping? What kind of shopping does the writer enjoy, do you think? Do you call them the head? Aside to my wife. You needn't you needn't be so rude about it. My wife answered as she looked at herself in the mirror. I sat down on one of those mountain chairs with holes in it and waited. We had in the hand shop. We had been in the hand shop for half an hour and my wife was still in front of the mirror. We must eat by things we don't need, I remarked. I remarked it. Suddenly, I regretted I regretted it almost at once. You needn't have said that, my wife answered. I needn't remind you of that terrible tie you bought yesterday. I found I found it beautiful. I said, a man can never have too many ties. And a woman can't have too many hands, she answered. Ten minutes later, we walked out of the shop together. My wife was wearing a hand that looks like a lighthouse. Uh, lesson 42. Lesson 42. Not very musical. What happened? What happened when the snake charmer began to play jazz? As we had had a long walk through one of the markets of Old Delhi, we stopped and a squire to have a rest. After a time, we noticed we noticed a snake charmer with two large baskets at the other side of the squire. So we went to have a look at it. As soon as he saw us, he picked up a long pipe which was covered with coins and opened one of the baskets. When he began to play a tune, we had our first glimpse of the snake. It rose out it rose out of the basket and began to follow the movements the movements of the pipe. We were very surprised when the Snake's, snake charmer began to suddenly begin to play jazz and modern pop songs. The snake, however, continued to dance slowly. It obviously, it obviously could not tell the difference between Indian music and jazz. Hmm. 好，本期的背诵就到这里，我们下期见，拜拜。